today's episode, we are going to be eating cats. Meow. Hey guys, my name is Carla, Pierce behind the camera, and as always, we will take you to some of our favorite spots or new discoveries around Macau. The cafe is located near Sam Tantang or three lampposts and you gotta look for the street called Rua Bishpo do Medeiros and that's basically where the cafe is located. We are right here. We're gonna walk to the cafe now. There it is. We spot it. Okay, so we're not really gonna be eating cats, but basically we're going to a cat-themed restaurant which is called Bro Mao. Now, if you can't tell from the name already, Mao means cat in English, in Cantonese. So obviously because it's a cat-themed restaurant, they have food that is themed or that looks like cats. So cat pao, cat bagels, cat sandwiches, cat everything. And when I saw this off of Instagram, I was really drawn to the cat pao. It's like a Taiwanese pao. I thought it looks really good. It looks really promising. So what else is there too? But of course, try la. So we're gonna go try it. Come on, let's go. Look at this, it's so cute. These bagels right here. And they have this, what do you call this? Pao? Pao pao? Pao pao. That sounds nice. This is what we came for. So we're gonna have one of these and one of these. And of course, something on the side. Well, not really on the side. Our main dish is what I call on the side. From what I can gather, they're popular for their pao dishes or their sandwiches. But if you're hungry and you're looking for your typical cha cha tang kind of food, they also serve that right here. So as you can see, we ordered molokai. This is like a little different rendition of molokai, but it looks promising. We're not complaining. And this is part of their set lunch meals. So a set lunch comes with a drink. So again, we got yin yang. They go together well. But we are waiting for our the stuff that we came here for before we begin. Here they are! So cute! Okay, so this is the bagel and we got the double cheese with beef. So it's kind of like a beef burger except this is bagel and it's in a form of a cat. And this is the pao pao. This is a Taiwanese pao. And we got pork, I believe that is. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. It looks promising, it looks delicious, but we'll have to try it out. Okay, I'm gonna have the first bite. Try love. That's so cheesy. I think they use two different kinds of cheese in here. There's this one that's really bright yellow and this one's like pale yellow. I'm not a cheese expert, but I just know there's like two different kinds of cheese here. Mm. I can barely taste the beef. <laughs> Let me just hold that. Honestly, there's not much taste to it. It's not salty. It's mostly cheese. I like it. Mm. The bagel has a like, really good crispiness to it. It's toasted really well. It's soft inside, but like outside it's like, really crunchy. I like the bagel a lot. The bagel goes with the cheese, but this is more like a breakfast food. I mean, obviously, the plate says breakfast. It would really be nice as a breakfast food. Okay, I'm gonna try this pao. How do I even eat this? Oh well, here goes nothing. Pork is soft. It's like similar to adobo, which is like has more 
like fragrance to it. I like it. Vegetables, like, there's like a little bit of kick to it. I think it's because of this powder right here. What is this powder? Do you know what it is? This powder. Oh, it's peanut powder. Peanut powder. It is peanut. Mm, that's interesting. It's like a mixture of different flavors. So you have like the saltiness of the pork and the vegetables is like it's a little bit spicy and then you have the peanut. It's interesting. Go and try it for yourself. Okay, let me try this bagel first. Let's see. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Not much beef in there, but it's super cheesy. Yeah, like I said, it tastes like this is like breakfast food or afternoon tea. More like breakfast. Can imagine drinking like hot coffee with this. Mm. Mm. Oozing cheese. Mm. That's all I can say. Super cheesy. Okay. Try to bow. Bow, 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 bow. Mmm. Great. Oh, yeah, crushed peanuts, is it? Oh, you got your pickled veggies and your pork belly. Let me try. Mmm. Okay, okay, that's different. Okay, the pork belly is really soft. And then the peanut, it goes well with it. Pickled veggies, not too strong. Oh, it is pretty strong, sorry. Mm. It's a new flavor. You should try, love. I think it's still lacking a little bit of saltiness but otherwise it's already like a perfect blend of flavors it has a little bit of saltiness i'm usually not into salty food but for this one i need a little extra i like the flavor that the, the peanut gives it makes it like a little different i don't know how to explain it but it's really it makes it so much different we're gonna have more of these because this is like comfort food. Do you remember that dish that we ate at Chrisley Cafe where they had like eggs and beef with like, well, on top of rice? So this is very similar except this is in a bread bagel form. Look. I'm gonna have a problem eating this because it has a face. It's so cute. Like, do you wanna bite that? <laughs> it's just so cute. I'm gonna eat that part last. I'm sorry, little cat. I'm gonna have to eat you. Dead. Mm -hmm. Want some? Hmm? You wanna finish it then? all right so we paid 97 dollars for three items that is like one set lunch meal one pow and one bagel kind of burger so that's not bad it's actually pretty cheap all right guys so that is that I recommend you to go and try that restaurant, that cafe, if you're into like Instagram worthy food, cute looking food, cat themed food. If you're a cat lover, then go try it out. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you give it a thumbs up if you like it. Leave us a comment in the comment section down below if you wanna see other things that you want us to try, then go and write it down there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one.
बाय